Hi, in this video, let's look at uh, static variables uh, where like uh, earlier, uh, if you remember, we discussed it like uh, class can memory will be allocated to the class when it gets constructed. But uh, there is an exception to it when you define a static to a data member. For example, let's take a case of the data member. The memory let's get uh, allocated that by the when that by the time it is defined and here if when you call this form when you define this one the memory gets allocated to the cage here in this case line is another class of line type cage is a of line type and we have a queue cage of queue another aspect of static memory is like uh, we have a when you define a class the the cage will be the common to all the instances of the line cage the uh, how many number of instances of line underscore cage you create construct the cage where the cage variable remains common to all the instances it doesn't vary with the instance and that's what here it means here we have created a initial object and we this is the line class uh, here we are taking the age and name while constructing will take age and name and assign it to the age mm, a and then assign it to the age and name of this line the particular line has a age and the part uh, the name here we have a handle for the line for each line we are giving a age and name and pushing back the li uh, line underscore cage this is the class name this is not a handle name and colon colon cage cage is what the line type here here in the within the line underscore cage we have a variable called cage which is of line type that is that we directly calling without instantiating the line underscore cage here we use colon colon for the mm, for for this kind of operations when we directly want to call a uh, call a data member or also method also that we'll get later here cage and we are doing pushback uh, in queues we have an uh, function called pushback that will push the data from backwards that uh, i'll create uh, different videos for that uh, add the add the line underscore h to the this is the data for this line again we have constructed a new uh, another line with the same name with the a3 and a name is this one and i am pushing back to the cage like so be, because be, without instantiating the line underscore cage i am just adding the data to the cage uh, data member which is inside a line underscore cage another the example is 15 uh, this name i am adding i am just putting here here i am displaying for if i added a for each now for each level we can call like this where we can do line underscore cage colon colon if we do for each state all the data member will be printed here the get name is not required we'll do so uh, so if i do show the show the code here we have a line class age uh, int of a string name function uh, constructor is having taking the values a and n that will be assigned to the age and name this is the line class and the line cage class having the static keyword and line type um, and the cage having the variable of cage which is a queue of type line which we have here now we take a tb we have a handle for the line for each handle we are constructing adding the age and the name and pushing back to the cage here push back to the cage and similarly we added one more line uh, age and uh, name we push back similarly three times three times we did here we want to display a just a dis this is just a display lines in the cage for each line uh, line cage uh, in the in this queue whatever stored in this queue for each we want to display uh, that if i display this one if i run the same code Here you see uh, all the three age two uh, age two name is Kimba. Here we got age three lane is Simba. We got here age fifteen Mustafa. We got here this is all this is all the lines. Uh, these are the line type uh, line name ages and the names we are stored inside the cage. We thought uh, the main part is without instancing the line underscore cage directly we have accessed uh, here what the line cage only thing we did for her here it is like only defined the class that's it. We didn't instance it. We didn't construct it directly. We started using uh, by using this operator colon colon. Okay by using this one we directly started accessing the cage this colon colon doesn't apply to anyone for example uh, for now for static we can use this one okay static variable i showed we will look at the static methods in the later video thanks